everybody and welcome back to Nerd Rooms. I am Mad Mac and today I will be showing you how to draw the dark mark for Harry Potter. I'm going to be using a thick black sharpie today. Um, you can use this if you want. If you are though, I recommend that you do um, paper underneath of your original paper. Just make sure that it's layered and it doesn't go through onto the tabletop or whatever you're working on with um, the black from the sharpie. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me so I would not recommend it. <laughs> so I'm going to start by doing the eye sockets for the skull. These are like little rounded triangles. Pointing at each other, sort of like arrows. After that is done, do like little half circles. And then just color these in. Make sure that these, I call them lashes, just make sure that they're pointed out some. After that is done, I will be moving on to the nose. Nose is like a little rounded triangle. Kind of gets thicker at the bottom. Just make sure it stays rounded more than triangle shaped. After that is done, move up here for the eyebrows. These aren't really eyebrows, so just do little marks. They're more like little marks in the skull. And then little marks down here for the bridge of the nose. Now it is time for the teeth. There are four teeth, so just kind of do, make them into a little bit of a triangle shape like that, and then just fill them in. Four. Make them at like varying lengths. And now we're going to move on by doing the top part of the skull. It's like an upside down bowl. Kind of make the ends of it jut in towards the eyebrow marks. After that is done, come down here for the cheekbones. They're small. After that is done, the skull has like a little lump on each side. Like so. Now that is our skull. So now we will be moving on to the snake part of the dark mark. Now the snake kind of like pinches the skull and makes like a little S shape going down. Like so. You can make it look cartoony if you want. You can make it look real, whatever you feel like doing. It's kind of fun to experiment. And just kind of do like a little curl up here. Leave space on both sides like here, I'll show you. Leave space like right here because this is going to be where the snake's head comes out at. Then do kind of like just a crazy A shape up here. On both sides. Make it look like an eight. After that is done, I'll do the little poking head coming out of the snake. Kind of goes down like this, it's limp. And then the head comes up. Ow, sort of like an alligator head. I'm gonna do the start of the teeth. It's like a little point. Then like a little wicked grin. And the teeth underneath. Like so. And this will come down like this. So that is the eyes and the face for the snake. Make it jut down. And just try and make it look like it all connects. Like how this does. Now that that is done, I will be moving on to the marks for the snake. This has like two little like stretch marks, sort of. After that is done, the snake looks like it has sort of like little claws up here. Dragon claws. So just go ahead and do that. It's like a little rounded right here with a straight line. And then you're going to be moving on to the stomach parts of the snake. The stomach parts are like this. This would be the stomach part for the snake. So it would like this right here. And this curving up. So that would be all the stomach part and you can just 
shade them in with little lines. After that is done, you'll be moving on to like the, um, the snake has like little triangles for the markings, so I'll just move on to that. These are probably the most fun part. Just like do little varying lines, try to make them connect. This is the most fun because you get to decide where they're going to be, what they're going to look like. Just kind of make it look, look like it makes sense. It's starting to look like it has camo on it. <laughs> getting really easy and then here is our dark mark I hope you enjoy please like and subscribe for more videos like this and keep on nerding thanks bye bye